The Indianapolis 500, the most iconic race in the history of sports. And today, today marks the centennial, 100 years of heroes, tradition, and glory. Make no mistake, there is nothing ordinary about this race. This is the gold standard, a symbol for greatness that plays out on a stage like no other. It started with Ray Haroon and the Marmon Wasp. Now, back in 1911, mechanics rode rumble seat with the driver. They were the eyes in the back of their heads. But Ray wasn't just a driver. He was an inventor, tricked out with the first ever rear view mirror. Ray rode solo. The Wasp takes the checkered flag, and the Indy 500 is born. Today, the greatest spectacle in racing is just that. 500 miles to immortality. Indy is peerless and original. It's not just built on tradition, it invents traditions. I got news for you in Victory Lane. Champagne is a cliche, but milk? Milk is Indy. Milk is one of a kind. Now this track, yeah, she's seen it all. The triumph and tragedy. Two and a half miles of power and grace. And she's been known to drum up a curse or two, so don't cross her, because ask any driver. They'll tell you, she's got a say in who wins this thing. The times have changed, but not this place. And the only thing that kept them from racing here was a world war. But like America, she came back stronger than ever. Now stay tuned for the greatest spectacle in racing. From 1949, it was lights, camera, action. Television launched the 500 into people's homes, and from there, the legend soared with faster cars, edge of your seat, heart pumping. I can't believe that I just saw that. Racing, that would be Mr. A.J. Foyt to you and me. Immortality. In 1969, it was his turn. Godfather of motorsports. Here's the checkered flag. Mario Andretti. He's won the Indianapolis 500. But for every legend who solved this riddle, the stories of those who came up empty are legion. That's the harsh reality of this sport. But without the bitter, the sweet wouldn't be as sweet. In 1985, Danny Sullivan opens up a candy store out of turn two and leaves Mario with the bill. One of the sweetest moves ever. A spin and win. Just goes to show in racing, you never know. Just ask Sam Hornis Jr. How close was Marco Andretti? Six hundredths of a second. Well, this is what they race for. With victory comes the honor of having your face sculpted into one of the greatest trophies in sports. Legends like Rutherford, John Cox, Fittipaldi, to name a few. But only A.J. Foyt, Al Unser, and Rick Mears claimed the Borg Warner four times. Extraordinary. Today, Elio looks to join that fraternity, but he'll be pushed to the brink by those looking to make their own history. Here's the thing, at Indy, you're either first or forgotten. Cruel? Maybe, but such is life. An opportunity missed, a door unopened, a path not chosen. But every year on Memorial Day weekend comes the chance to cross these bricks and live forever. No votes, no politics, no thanks to the Academy. Nothing. Just driver, machine, and the pursuit of immortality. <laughs>